We're going to begin the power series topic now, but we're going to see that this is an extremely powerful, no pun intended, section that we just need to start with something much more basic. We're going to go back to the beginning of our calculus careers and get into the equation of the tangent line. All right, so um, let, let's start with this function, the natural log of x. And if we want to write the equation of the line tangent to f at x equals 2, we know that our equation using point slope form, all right, y is equal to um, y1 plus the slope times x minus x1. Yes, I've moved the y1 over to the other side, um, which is another way of just saying that y is equal to um, the function evaluated in this case at 2 plus the derivative of the function evaluated at 2 times x minus 2. Because right? we know that this derivative is the slope of the tangent to the curve at a point, and the point being x equals 2. So we need f of 2, and if we plug in 2 to our function, we literally have the natural log of 2. So we'll have y equals the natural log of 2, and we're going to add to that. Now we need f prime of 2. So we need f prime of x, and that's a quick derivative to get. We know the derivative of the natural log of x is 1 over x. So when we want f prime of 2, we'll plug 2 in for x, so that gives us 1 half. So into our equation, f prime of 2 is 1 half, and then we have x minus 2. Now we need to use this equation to approximate f of 2.1. Right, so we'll plug in 2.1 for x. And when we do so, oops, that should be a plus sign there, right, 1 half, and then we have 2.1 minus 2. So 2.1 minus 2 is uh, a tenth, and a tenth times 2 is a twentieth, so y is going to be equal to the natural log of 2 plus 1 over 20. And if we go to our calculator, all right, so we have ln 2, and we're going to add to that uh, 1 twentieth. And that gives us 0.743147. All right, so it's approximately equal to 0 0.743147. Okay. Now we want to use our calculator to actually find f of 2.1. Right, so if we go back to our machine and we find the natural log of 2.1, we see that 0.741937. All right, so f of 2.1 is 0 0.741937. Right. So doing some quick subtraction here, we see that we're pretty close to what's going on here. So we have that answer, and we're going to subtract this for a difference of basically 1 tenth hundred, one twelve ten thousandths. Um, you know, that's our, our error, if you will which uh, is not that large, all right? So, and all we did was we just found a, an equation of the, uh, the tangent line and used that. So from a picture point of view, all right, if we go back here, and y equals, I've got the natural log of x, and then I've got the uh, tangent line equation. And if we look at the graph, all right, we can see the ln x blue curve, and we can see the tangent line equation and we can see that right around x equals 2, because here's x equals 1, here's x equals 2, right around that spot, the two are extremely close together. Now, this is great if we're interested in, um, you know, exactly the point x equals 2. But could it be that we could make a more accurate or create a more accurate representation of um, this natural log curve while using a polynomial? Um, and that's basically what we're looking at with these bullet points right here. Check out the third one. What if instead of a tangent line, we could create, in quotes, a tangent parabola, which curves in the same manner as the function? All right, That would give us a situation where it would be even more accurate than our tangent line. So in the next video, let's see if we can come up with a tangent parabola.